Hi, Nicola Askham here, back for another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And in today's video, I want to address the question of what is data literacy and why is it important to data governance? Now, data literacy and data governance are both getting a lot more focused these days, but it's very easy if you're not entirely sure what they are to understand, are they different things? And, you know, if we're already doing data governance, do we need data literacy and, and maybe vice versa? So I wanted to do just one of my very short videos to address that for you and provide a little bit more clarity on the topic. So let's start first with what data literacy is. Well, basically, it's just the ability to understand what data is. So just in the way that um, basic literacy skills are the ability to read and write, I would say that data literacy is the ability to read, write and, and communicate with data. So it's just about being able to understand what data is and to um, read it, interpret it and to actually document things in, in a correct way. Now, this is really important because in the modern world that we live in, data underpins almost everything we do. So we need to understand and manage our data better, both in our personal lives and in our organizations. Um, you know, and from an organizational point of view, if we're able to understand our data and value that data as an asset, we're in a much better position to manage it better. So as I said, you know, we expect everybody to have basic skills in reading and writing. And data literacy is just about ensuring that everyone in our organization has a basic understanding of what data is, how it should be used and managed appropriately for their particular role. For example, if you've got a, perhaps a very junior employee whose main job is data entry, then they need to understand why it's important that they capture data correctly and put it in a certain format. Whereas perhaps a more senior, sophisticated consumer of data needs to understand perhaps where their data has come from. How do they know that it's good enough for them to use? How do they know they've got the right data? So it's just some basic um, skills and understanding around data. So obviously, you know, there are whole courses around data literacy. So in, in a couple of minute video, I'm not going to have time to go into a lot more detail, but hopefully that gives you an idea of what data literacy is. But it's important to the success of a data governance initiative because it's one of the things that we need to address when changing the culture of an organization so that data is viewed as an asset and managed as one. So, you know, if we don't have everybody in our organization understanding that data is an asset and, you know, thinking about it and, and managing it appropriately, our data governance uh, initiative is not going to be successful. So addressing data literacy in your organization is vital to implementing data governance successfully and making sure that data is used to solve problems and make better informed decisions. So I really would encourage you to uh, make sure that data literacy is addressed as part of your comms and training plans as part of doing data governance. If you want to know a little bit more about uh, data literacy, I do now offer data literacy training and you can find that by going to nicolaascom.com com forward slash data hyphen literacy hyphen training. So I hope you found the video useful. Don't forget if you've got any other questions that you would like me to address on future videos, just email them in to questions at nicolaascom.com. And if you found this video useful, please help me on my mission to help as many people as possible be successful with data governance by sharing it on your um, choice of social media. Thank you so much for your help and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.